What's up everyone? Today we are going to do a little tour of Atlantic City, one of the most famous cities in the United States. It's the second Las Vegas. I've never been to Vegas, but I'll show you Atlantic City. Right now I gotta explain what's going on back here. This is Lucy the Elephant. This is Margate, New Jersey. I'm gonna take you a little tour, show you a very different side of the Jersey Shore. Probably a side you've never seen before. But uh, first gotta say hello to uh, Lucy the Elephant. I think you throw peanuts at her, but uh, all I got is this Patriots ball song. I have to say, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone a little bit. This is one of the strangest places I've ever visited. I can't really describe it to you. Like right now I'm looking at all these casinos. Some are like gaudy 70s casinos. Some look pretty nice, like state-of-the-art modern. And driving through, you see some really rundown areas. You see a lot of cash for gold spots. You see psychics, abandoned lots, abandoned storefronts. Right here we got, it's a little windy here. Over here we got a little Ferris wheel, a little carnival. The beach looks pretty nice. I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed with the beach. Clean. Looks like you can buy some property. I imagine you could buy some property right by the beach for pretty cheap. I saw all these empty lots. I was just in Margate and Margate is an extremely rich city. You see all these mansions right on the beach. No empty lots. They're building houses all the time. I couldn't describe a more different city than Atlantic City when I compare the two that are right next door. And this is the boardwalk. So we're gonna walk along the boardwalk, see exactly what's going on here in Atlantic City. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna walk, show you under the boardwalk. Just thinking out here, it's pretty nice. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the beach, but I've never been a gambler. I don't really find it interesting. But I know in casinos, they don't, give you any sense of time they kind of trap you in there they got the oxygen pumping they got the music pumping and then you spend all your money you're broke you come out here and you just you know jump into the ocean you have that moment of the dark soul where you're like what am i doing with my life I, those moments i felt but i've never felt it because of gambling so it's such a like a contrast coming right out of the casino right into here jumping in the ocean throw your last five cents in the ocean so right now I told you I'd show you under the boardwalk. We got some people, you know. This is one giant umbrella for some people. Keeps you out of the sun. Not as bad as I thought it would. So you know that Drifter song, Under the Boardwalk, was made with Atlantic City in mind. So you kind of get the feeling maybe some stuff's going down here, little, little extracurricular activities. I really can't get over how bizarre it is to be on the beach with all these you know, that one is nice. That one looks a little bit like Copacabana Palace in, in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, you know, French, French style. Not as nice, I have to say. Copacabana is much nicer, but it's that same idea. Hard Rock's got their own one. Hard Rock has a casino. I didn't even know Hard Rock did cas casinos. So I'm still trying to decide what kind of vlog I'm making today. If I'm here to talk bad about Atlantic City or I'm here to talk good about it, because I'm still not sure. Some stuff looks kind of fun, you know? I like that idea of a little bar, your feet in the sand, playing a little frat sacks or cornhole, whatever you say, I'm sweating. So I'm kind of on the fence if I like this place or not. What do you think? I think you can drink on the beach here, which is kind of different from most places. And I got a little Margaritaville. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'll be wasting away in Margaritaville in a little bit. Says you can't drink on the you can't drink but i hear people selling beer i don't know what i've seen people skateboarding i've heard, heard loud music i haven't seen any dogs but i think people are drinking on the beach we also have DraftKings here you could bet on sports here actually the whole state you can really bet on sports online but i think people come here watch the games cheer for their favorite team with a little bit of extra incentive when you got a hundred dollars on the money line Dad, what are you thinking about Atlantic City? It looks like hard work. Hard work? Are you feeling lucky? Are you, you want to test your luck at one of the casinos? I'll buy you a chip. He just turned 60 yesterday, so. Don't come here feeling lucky. Yeah, you'll, you'll leave feeling sorry. One thing that the Jersey Shore is famous for is salt water taffy. Water, especially in Southern Philly or Southern Jersey, they say water. I've never had one. I guess I'm not a good New Jersey. Oh, I'm about to get hit by a train and a, and a bike. 
Got a lot of things going on in this boardwalk. If you remember from Monopoly, a lot of the place names come from Atlantic City, Atlantic, Atlantic Avenue, Atlantic City, St. James Place. This place used to be like happening. Now it's falling off a little. If you don't know if you're gonna win, you wanna be sure, pay $20, you get a little psychic. They'll tell you if victory is in your future. Now let's see who's good at geography here. Of course you know the American flag. I'm hoping you know the Italian flag, but that other flag that is yellow and red with the kind of contorted body, I know that because that is Sicily, Sicilia. But I just want to show off my, my knowledge and the fact that I've been there. I've been to Catania. This place is like, not only is it is it bizarre, strange, but it's also a giant bazaar. You can find all these little trinkets, little things you'd only find here. Assortment of strange products for not so much money. Let's see what we got over here. You always got to get a jersey shirt, right? Get some nice souvenir for your special person. Two for ten, not so bad. You can see various different eras that Atlantic City went through. This one, the, the Claridge, looks pretty classic. Kind of something you might see by Central Park, one of those co-ops. You have Bally's, much newer looking. And then some other casinos that look like they're directly out of someone's nightmare. And this little thing is supposed to be, I guess, like a, a Roman forum, a Roman amphitheater. They do have a place in the city called Caesar's Palace, so I guess that might be the reason. And people that don't want to walk, they can take a little trip on these little buses. You see the entrance of the casino. People entering into a different world, coming out unhappy, ready to lose their money. Only in Atlantic City will you find houseman style Parisian architecture on the boardwalk. And then they got Caesar's Palace. I don't think Caesar actually lives there, but a little replica. I don't know, I actually like that. It looks nice. Well done. Strange, out of place, but well done. Another thematic scene. This looks like a saloon in the Wild West. Almost New Orleans, yeah. This kind of old casino right next to Imperial French architecture. It's crazy. And then we have this like abandoned mall. I don't know if it's, if it's abandoned or this is a mall still, I'm not sure. But yeah, everyone's trying to sell cars. 25, win a car or 25K. What do I gotta do? It's get a lucky number. You can see up there that they have no guardrails on the balcony. I don't know if that's under construction or if they're taking it down. What's up, buddy? Now that structure looks authentic to the place. That looks old. It looks almost like a kind of pavilion from the 30s. Oh, I gotta tell the history of this place. I forgot about that. Some of you might know better than me. It's been famous in shows like Boardwalk Empire. Look who paid a visit to Atlantic City. Kennedy. If I'm not mistaken, this building is where they used to have the Miss America pageant. I think it's not in Atlantic City anymore. This building looks worth a uh, look inside, I think. Yep, over there you could see that this was the home of Miss America pageant since 1921. Here are some of our winners. Some of the queens, the Miss Americas. Over here we got a little beach club. You know, your Mykonos, your Ibiza of Atlantic City. I don't know exactly how I'm making that up, but there's some techno, so that's what I'm gonna call it. So I was making fun of this cart before, and now I'm on it. It's hot out there. It's a long boardwalk. It's a long... Having fun is hard work. Hard work. It's hard work, this city. So you guys walk through the arcade there? Uh, up above, up ahead? It's Showboat. Oh. That's, that's the summer supervisor. Now we're in Showboat Arcade. They used to have some boxing fights here. This is supposed to be the world's largest arcade. It's pretty nuts in here.
They even have a little gamer's lounge. You can come in here and take on some of the best players. Atlantic City does TVs right. Look, New Jersey, I think that's Tom's River. Local New Jersey team, New Jersey represent. I guess if you really are down on your luck, you gotta go just pray a little bit over there, worship. So this isn't a casino, but I want you to feel what it feels like to leave a casino and enter the beach. It's crazy, right? So I checked out my first casino. We went in a hard rock casino. That was an experience. Like, I don't know, it's just super surreal watching all these people like rest in that slot machine. I had to, you know, I had to bet. So I'm actually down 50K. I'm gonna start and I'm starting to go fund me. You know, the, those literally, I did a parlay. No, I didn't, I'm kidding. But I uh, put $10 on the slots. Fastest $10 I ever lost. But it's definitely a, a sight to see. If you could see, like. You gonna come to the show today? Oh, thank you. Famous, what's your name? Hey. Hey, how are you? Famous. Day <laughs> at. Super American Circus, K. If you're ever in Atlantic City, say hello to K. Now this one looks pretty cool. This casino is called Ocean. Got a little hotel up there. A little pool deck overlooking the Atlantic. People pull right in here. That was my trip to Atlantic City. If you want to learn a little bit more about Atlantic City, I recommend this book, which was the basis of the TV show they made, Boardwalk Empire. You'll learn about all the different eras in Atlantic City, starting back when it was a hell spot for the rich, to the roaring 20s, to when they legalized gambling in the 70s. I'll leave the link uh, in the description. Really crazy, crazy place. You see these luxury casinos, and then you go a couple blocks away, especially on the north side, you see some of the most economically depressed neighborhoods in all of North America. It looks like you're going through the wire. So I don't know what to say about Atlantic City. Just seeing it is really hard to describe to you, but it's certainly an interesting place that you should check out if you're in the area. I'll see you next time. Peace.